Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I'll be reading the November 5th Daily Inspirational Message. The condensed version is two paragraphs long. Then I'll center myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message. And I trust it will assist both of us on our journeys. If you find the message useful, please be so kind as to like, comment, or share, or even join us and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, here we go. The title, Honoring Your Past, Present, and Future Self. Paragraph, paragraph one. Today, let us bow in honor of our past self for helping us become who we are today. We honor all that our past self went through, took on, and overcame to help us become the stronger, more compassionate, and wiser being that we are today. Knowing this, today let us allow our present self to travel back in time and encourage our past self to keep going and remain strong. With a gentle and kind smile, our present self shares with our past self that all will be all right. Our present self will say, that what our past self is going through can and will be gotten through. If our present self is fearful and struggling, know that even stronger and wiser version of your present self, your future self, is always available to us. Our future self is always available to aid, help lift us up, and encourage us to keep going and growing. Paragraph two. Today, let us appreciate everything that we have gone through, accomplished, and overcome to become who we are now. Let our present self honor and be grateful to our past self for all that our past self went through and overcame. Our past self has helped us become the wiser, more compassionate being that we are today. Our future self honors and is grateful to our present self for what we are going through and overcoming now. Our present self is helping our future self become more self-aware, a more self-aware human being. Our past self overcame and grew thanks to our challenges. So too will our present and future self overcome their challenges. With this understanding, let us return to this state of peace. Now, from this place of wisdom and peace, let us continue gladly, confidently, and gracefully on our way home. All right, honoring your past, present, and future self. Let's um, let's continue a little bit of what we talked about yesterday about the split mind. There's two ways to look at your past. One is through the ego's lens, and one is through love's lens, God's lens. And it's only when we're seeing through the ego's lens that shame comes up, guilt, sadness, regret. All those are not, they don't need to be true. And they are not true. They're true if you see through the ego's lens, where it gives you such a limited parameter that if you don't follow this little tunnel here, then you're somehow wrong or bad or not good enough or not spiritual enough or not wise enough or not whatever enough. That's the ego. That's the ego's judgmental lens. That's the weight that it burdens you with. Because the ego wants you to be burdened in the present moment so that it can obscure your light. So that you can then judge your brothers and sisters and feel like no big deal. But if you instead place aside the ego's lens and see, choose to see through love's lens, through God's eyes, you would understand and you would know that in each and every moment of our journey, in every interaction, in every activity we, we um, take part in, we're always doing the best we can with the physical, spiritual, and emotional tools that we have available to us in that moment. And so if we're always doing the best we can in that moment, and we're all one, so too are our brothers and sisters, doing the best they can with the spiritual, mental, and emotional tools that they have in that moment. And so, viewing your past through love's lens, 
wouldn't you have more compassion, more understanding towards your past self and towards your brothers and sisters' past self instead of having that judgment and resentment uh, about your brothers and sisters? Maybe that's shame and guilt or sadness in yourself. So let us simply remember that. When we're viewing our past through guilt, through shame, through anger, through sadness, through regret, that's the ego's lens that we're using. But we have, in, in every moment, we have, we have free will. We can choose to see through love's lens instead of the ego's lens. We already know what the ego's lens offers us. It just makes us feel burdened and has us carry this weight around and has us block our own light. No, we've tried that before. It's not productive, it's not useful. Let us simply place that aside and say, you know what? I'm here to be the light of the world. And therefrom, now I'm gonna to choose to see through love's lens. Now I'm gonna remember that my brother and sister and even myself, we all did the best we could with the mental, spiritual, and physical tools we had available to us at that time. And because of that, compassion and understanding and forgiveness is my response to myself, my past self, and to my brothers and sisters' past self. And when that happens, you release the past. And you now carry your past with peace and appreciation and understanding that each moment just gave you that life experience that you have now. And so with this life experience, with this knowledge and wisdom that you have now, that your present self has now, because of your past, because of what your past self went through, wouldn't your present self honor your past self for bringing in all this life experience, all these lessons, all this wisdom to your present self? Are you not a much wiser, compassionate, loving, forgiving human being right now than you were in the past? That's because of your past self. So let us honor our past self for that. And if we can honor our past self, if our present self honors or cannot honor our past self, wouldn't our future self also be honoring our present self? Because our future self is seeing us, seeing us go through these challenges, seeing us little by little overcome these challenges, these dark times. And by doing so, uh, achieving more life experience, more wisdom, more understanding, a greater ability to forgive and to have compassion. And then we can offer all that, little by little, we can offer all that to our future self. So when our future self comes in, having all that wisdom and knowledge and experience that our present self provided, wouldn't our future self honor our present self? And if our future self is honoring our present self, can we try that now? Can we try to honor ourselves now and honor our brothers and sisters now? Understanding that because there's a divine design in place, that everything we're experiencing is here to help us grow, heal, and awaken. And all we have to do is remember that we're always doing the best we can. We're doing the best we can. And our brothers and sisters are doing the best we can with, a, with an, um, spiritual, my emotional, and physical tools they have, and we have right now. So be a little, have a little more grace towards your present self and to your brothers and sisters' present self. And honor them, try to honor them. Just like your future self honors you, honor your brother and sister, honor yourself. For in doing so, you let go of the stories. How much more time and energy do you wanna keep on sacrificing your, your present to your, to, to the, those stories of judgment, of anger, of guilt, of shame, of not be feeling good enough or worthy enough or not whatever enough. Stop supporting stories that don't support you. Stop choosing to see through the ego's lens instead of love's lens. Start offering appreciation for each and every moment, knowing that it's here for your good knowing that you will overcome, just like you overcame in your past. You will overcome now, and you will have the, this life experience to offer to your future self. And how do, we, how do we honor our future self? 
we know that our future self is going to be a, a lot wiser and more compassionate and loving than us, right? So if our future self is even more united with the mind of God, with love and all these expressions, wouldn't it be somewhat wise to humbly step back? In the present moment, we step back and we invite our future self to decide for us. What would a more compassionate, loving, forgiving being do right now? Future self, you're more compassionate, you're more loving, you're, you have more, much more life experience than me. What would you do now? You could say, what would love do now? What would perfect love do now? And so that's how we honor our future self, by bringing it into our into the holy instant, into the present moment, and saying, you know what? I know that you're a little bit more wiser than I am, so do me a favor, just decide for me right now. I'm gonna step back, and I'm gonna allow this wiser, more loving and compassionate and understanding being my future self to decide for me. And then simply ask myself, what would love to now? What would be the most compassionate thing to do now? What would be the most understanding to thing to do now? What would a uh, being consciously aligned with the light in them do now? And that's how we honor our future self. And so see, we can honor our past, present, and future self in, in each moment. And we thank with gratitude. We thank all those times that we can depart the ego's madness and offer gratitude to our past self, to our present self, <clears throat> and to our future self. Imagine walking hand in hand with gratitude along the way. What kind of life would you experience? Wouldn't your light shine brighter? Wouldn't you carry less burdens with you? So take the hand of forgiveness, take the hand of compassion, and walk hand in hand with them along the way in this moment, in every moment. And so, I think that's good enough for now. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you can be so kind as to like, comment, or share, it would help with the listing process and might help somebody find this video and become a little more um, forgiving and uh, having a little more grace towards their past, and their past self and towards their brothers and sisters' past and past selves. And becoming by doing so becoming a brighter light in thee now again thank you for your time i love you very much and god willing we'll see each other tomorrow peace